find your passion, it ignites you as a person. You just feel awesome. Hey, what is going on, my sisters? All right, so we're gonna spill a little tea today, all right? So if you haven't seen my previous video, um, I spoke about dating like within the jujitsu gym. So when I was a white belt, I remember like I have been single for the majority of my jujitsu career. Um, I came from a long line of women who were very independent and I always derived my confidence from gaining skill and self-efficacy. Um, so I had no problem just going about my life like without a boyfriend, <laughs> you know, but we all need some sort of companionship. And so I was like, all right, let me go on match.com. So at the time, you know, I was probably like year one or two of training and I go on match.com and I get a message. And the message from this gentleman says, um, I would like to see your lips wrapped around my in those very explicit terms. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Um, so I write back, actually it'd be more like this. So I type back what I would like to envision from that. Um, I said, I would like to see my arms wrapped around your neck. And the next day I try to go on match.com and I am forever banned from match.com uh, because of that. And to be completely honest with you, um, I think what really did it in was I, I said the first part, but then I also added um, until you go to sleep and then I'll basically wake you up and do it all over again. So basically like jujitsu waterboarding, I figured I would spice things up since he wanted to spice up my inbox. <laughs> yeah, um, so that, so I got kicked off match.com. Um, and I was like, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm also a dating. Um, and so one of my friends was like, Crystal, you know, you may recognize her, especially if you are a male around the age of like 35 to 40 back in the day you probably know this woman but she was like crystal you know like you're you're single like you just need to like go out there and experience you know the your womanhood and all of its glory so i was like you know that sounds like a good idea so i get on <laughs> so i I make myself a Tinder profile, okay? Tinder. Um, and I'm like, all right, like this gentleman seems, seems like good. Uh, he was like extremely attractive, 10 out of 10. And I'm like, all right, let's, let's just, let's just get her done. So he's like, you know, why don't you like stop by? We could like just hang out, watch a movie. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Like sounds, that sounds like a good idea. So I show up at his house and he is like already like in his bed with the TV on. And I'm like, all right. He's like, why don't you come into bed? And I was just thinking like, to me, I was like, uh, I'm like, no, I'm all set. Um, so I just grabbed his computer chair and I sat it right, I put it right next to the bed and I sat down so I could like see the TV and he just like laughs at me. And for me, like, I don't care how awkward I make it. I will make it as awkward as fuck if that's how, like, I wasn't ready. I'm not going to sit in his bed if I don't feel like sitting in his bed and you're not going to socially pressure me to do anything. Like, I will make it, if it's a game of how awkward, like, I'm going to win. <laughs> so I'm like, so I sat down. We start watching the movie and he's like, you know, that chair looks like really uncomfortable. Like, why don't you come sit in the bed? And I was like, all right, like I'll go sit in the bed. So we're sitting in the bed. And of course, like he didn't try to talk to me. He basically just tried to go for it. So he like reaches over and tries unbuttoning my pants. And I was like, um, you know, I'm, I'm all set. Like I still, I'm trying to like feel out the situation right now. Like I just want to kind of watch the movie and like chill for a minute. And he did not understand that. So he tries again. And I was like, listen, like, I'm not ready yet. Like, can we just watch the movie? And he says to me, well, like you came to my house 
like look at how you're dressed um you were on tinder which is an app for basically like more or less hooking up he was like what did you think you probably came here because you like getting with strangers and i was just like okay this obviously does not know what consent means and does not have the skill of consent down like all right i don't care if i showed up naked wasted in like I, it's still you still have i still have to agree for you to put your penis in me okay that that is consent like if me and you like if me and you went to an ice cream parlor together and let's say I already knew what I wanted, you know, I had my ice cream and you were still ordering, would it be socially acceptable for me to just stick my ice cream in your face? No. Okay. You're still looking at the menu. You're still trying to decide what you want and if you want ice cream. Like I, if I was a proper human being understanding consent would be like, hey, would you like a taste of my ice cream? Before I shoved it in his, I would be like, hey, you know, is this cool? Do you want me to put my ice cream in your face? Like, is this, is this okay? Is this okay with you? Like that, and having the other person say yes, that is consent, okay? If I had sticking, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Like if the other person, we're in the ice cream shop, yes. I am in his bed, yes. But I'm still deciding if this guy is my flavor, okay? He has no right to stick his, <laughs> or to attempt to stick his ice cream anywhere on my person, okay? That is ice cream assault, <laughs> like <laughs> until I say yes. So he tries again and I basically tell him that like you are two seconds away from getting choked out and then he kind of understood because I was not playing around um I would have literally choked him out in his bed because he did not understand what consent was <clears throat> so after that I'm like I needed to take a break <laughs> from <laughs> from tinder and I'm like, all right, obviously I need to have a better screening protocol because I just do not have patience for that. So I basically on Tinder, you know, if you swipe left, it's a no. So I swipe left so many times that I literally went through all of the men in the Massachusetts area, in the Boston area, the one of the most populated places. <laughs> In the Northeast, I literally went through all of them. The app was like, you have no more men <laughs> in your area. So finally, I come up upon this profile of this gentleman who um, seemed very normal. His pictures were of activities. Um, he was Ivy League educated and he had a background in the military, which I'm like, great, you know, this this guy seems to be normal and he seems to be motivated and have like he seems to have good qualities about him so i'm like all right like let's let's agree to go on a date so me and him you know we we go on a date like we get along it's it's great um we see each other for like a few weeks and uh we're back at like my house all right so when I, for me personally, um, if I am in a situation with a guy that, and I'm still like getting to know him, um, being on top is nice because it is a position of dominance. And if you hit the fan, you would already be in a dominant position, which is great for self-defense purposes. So, you know, like me and him are like, getting serious getting to know each other i'm on top and this guy is um i don't know he's probably like six five a semi-professional rugby player and i was just looking at the size of his neck and i was like holy shit like it would be really like my jujitsu brain then turned on and i was like i started thinking about <laughs> like if it went south like how i would choke him out it's just 
the jujitsu brain just is always going. And at that moment, he looked at me, he was like, why do I feel like you could choke me out right now? And like, I was like, oh, oh, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? And like, instant killer. Like, I, it must have been a vibe I was giving off, but ladies, like, jujitsu can sometimes be so good at self defense towards sexual assault that you will block yourself. <laughs> but yeah, so moral. Moral of the story, okay? Moral of the story. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Once you start doing jujitsu, um, you're going to look at everything differently, okay? You're going to look at different positions different, completely differently. And you're also going to lose patience um, for men who do not have the skill or understanding of asking for consent, okay? Like, you have to get the approval of the other person before you proceed. Like, you can't, I'm not gonna go around sticking my ice cream in people's faces just because they're at the ice cream parlor. Like, could, they could be on a diet. They could be watching their macros. They could be, they, they could have a lactose intolerance. Like, you don't, you don't do that, okay? So yeah, like, um, so you will have an extreme impatience for uh, anybody who doesn't have the proper human skill of asking for consent, and you will um, probably threaten them verbally um, in order to let them know that you are serious because um, when you're dating, like, let's be honest, when you say no, it doesn't stop. Like they don't, they're a little bit it's like, hey, no, and they just don't hear it and they just keep on trying anyway or they'll try it. And if you don't say anything, they'll just keep on going because they think, oh, she's not saying no. Like, I'll just keep on going. Like, it's just it's like the most annoying salesperson you have ever met that like just doesn't get how to like, listen, I know you're trying to sell me your. I get that. I understand that it's a it's a lovely it's a lovely thing you have there like I am very impressed it's a-okay uh, but how about you play a little hard to get instead of giving me the hard sell okay how about you're like hey this stuff I have is really good you know you know you, you probably you probably aren't interested but I'll be like just play a little hard to get I don't, I don't anyway anyway I, I'm off I'm off on a tangent but um yeah your tolerance for some people's inability to understand how to go about asking um for consent you're gonna have like little tolerance um for that and sometimes your jujitsu will get in the way of your dating because you'll find your mind going to jujitsu um when you're in like newish situations which is yeah what, what can you do you know what i mean um, but yeah, so that is my, um, dating, uh, background after doing jujitsu for five years. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, it just gets embedded in you. Um, and so, yeah, but thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are in jujitsu and you are also dating, um, let me know like how your dating adventures are going. Uh, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely nice to be in jujitsu while dating because it gives you a type of assurance and confidence um, so that you can go out and, um, you know, get ice cream if you want ice cream because I'm a grown-ass woman and who doesn't like ice cream you know what I'm saying I just want to pick my flavor I don't want somebody to shove their ice cream in my face without asking me first <laughs> all right until next time